Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Now, I'm going to go into this castle here in a second, but before I did, I wanted to point out something really quickly. As you have hopefully noticed, I have done some things to this, vi to this and the previous videos to spruce it up a little bit. A little things, like small things, but, well, they're there. I just wanted to say that if you haven't already, or even if you have, please make sure you leave in the comments uh, your anything about those that you may feel, because this is my first time doing something like this, so I can really use some user feedback, viewer feedback, I suppose, to see that I'm actually being effective with them and they're not distracting, and like the ending card is a good length, and things like that, right? In any case, I just needed to say that. Now we can go into... Figaro Castle. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Hmm, can I... No. Oh hey, the music changed. It seems to like doing that. Yeah, we just had this conversation. Um, by the way, something that I just noticed that I need to get off my mind, Locke is an adventurer as his title. Why the hell is he an adventurer? He should have the title of Treasure Hunter, but I digress. Just a little pet peeve. Uh, let's just go in through the door, I suppose. Go and speak to the king. Okay, I guess we'll go do that first. I mean, if you insist. And it seems that, that they do. It's just as well, really. You must be the king! You mean, this young woman is... Who are you? Oh, my apologies! How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting! I see! You're that kind of... Okay. Hmm. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally, eh, and champion of the technological revolution! King Edgar! His port- he looks kind of derpy in his portrait, it, it must be said. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro! Heh, <laughs> surprised that someone like me knows a king? Well, of course you know a king. You're a thief. You're probably secretly royalty yourself. Well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies! Feel free to rest here as l for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my... abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty captivates me! Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a de distant third. You gotta give it to him. He he knows how to talk. Um, what's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. <laughs> I suppose a normal girl would have felt something for those words. I'm not sure about that. I think in... 
I mean, a touching line though it may have been, it was also incredibly cheesy. So, anyway. Feel free to wander about the castle, don't mind if I do. Okay, so, um, there's two things I need to track down right now. One of them is not this, but I'll grab it anyway. It's a phoenix down! That'll probably come in handy. No, truth be told, I don't remember at all how to get around this place. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain, I think. Okay, that's up here. Good to know, I suppose. I mean, hey, I got a phoenix down out of it, so... Uh, wait, is there a thing here? No. Is this a wall or a door? It's a door! Okay, this is one of the places I was looking for. Biggest boxes! But also... Shop! Okay, so, these things? You don't recognize these things, and we actually have an autocross bow. What these are? Is these tie into... Edgar's special technique. Because each character in this game to has a special technique. In addition to their basic commands. For Locke, it's stealing. For Terra, it's her magic. Edgar has his own, and it's where he uses these things. That said, well, I'm gonna buy one of each of them. You only need one. And it says right there, use with the tool command. Um, that said, over here, is a, another box, also another item shop, with real items. Here's the thing about this, though. If you have, if you have King Edar in your active party, then this guy for sure, and maybe the other guy, s will sell their items at a greatly reduced price. Having said that, I'm gonna buy a few odds and ends from here, but I'm not gonna get a whole lot. Because, well, because like I said, it's not, it's far more economical to wait until later on. To buy this stuff. What I'm getting now is essentially just to make sure we don't get into trouble uh, before we have access to the cheap stuff of Edgar. Now then, now that I found those, I can go do what I really wanted, and that is try to track down the treasury. You wouldn't know by looking at it, but this castle's loaded with advanced technology. For example... Whoops! <laughs> it's all top secret. Well, I was sort of guessed as much by all the fans taking out of everywhere. It is a bit of a giveaway, it must be said. Now let's see if I can remember where the treasury is. Uh, this looks like a library. Scholars all over the world are studying magic, but you can only learn so much about something without seeing it. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who mastered the art were known as magi. Fascinating. Except not really. Uh, let's go downstairs. Anything in here? Aha! This is what I was looking for. This is Figaro, the desert castle. Actually, now that I mention it, putting a castle in the middle of a desert does not really seem very practical. It must be said. Presumably, they use machinery to pump water from out of the ground, but even so, it just seems like a really poor location. Yeah, the other guy said that. Um, we want to go in here. As, what you might have guessed, 
Uh, wait. Wait, no. I may have the wrong room. Huh, I thought for sure this was the treasury. The advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. Well, okay then. Clearly I have the wrong tower. Oh well. Um, was there a thing over here? I can walk out here. Uh, I think that tower and the shadow, in fact, is the border. Because I'm pretty sure there's a thing somewhere around here. Maybe not. I could be mistaken. Or I could be correct. Only one way to find out, I guess. Um... Right. Okay, well, I know this isn't the treasury, but let's go in here anyway. High Priestess. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Edgar, what's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar! Are you... crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin. I think he was called like Mash or something, the Japanese version. It was, I don't, well that wasn't exactly it, but it was something really weird like that. But no, he's Sabin and he is awesome. Uh, also, well, you'll, you'll find out. Uh, eventually, truth be told, he's named here, but... When is he recruited? I'm not even sure I remember. Not anytime soon, in any case. But you find out about him here. Ah, yes. Sabin. No, he... I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now, and what he is doing. His Highness said he'd marry me when, he, when I got old enough. I'm sure he- wait, Highness? Majesty. Uh, but you know, let's not get hung up on that particular pet peeve just now. The, Gest the Gestalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations in the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. I suppose so. Uh, and for that matter, we, we would be living proof of- I can't talk right now. We would be living proof of that. Eh. Speaking is hard, you know? It's just hard. Tricky, even. Um... What is in here, though? Ooh! Sure. What? Really? Not- there isn't even a box in here. How disappointing. Ah, well. I think we still have rooms to look in. I think. Maybe not. Do we? Do we? Uh, well, we can go downstairs. To the basement! Oh. Okay, I'm not allowed down here. And it's probably the same on the other side. But let's look anyway. 
Oh no, we found the prison! Is that a werewolf? These good-for-nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery, and worse! You'd best keep a safe distance. Uh, something smells terrible in here. Oh, I think it's me. Uh, well, if the worst you have is smelling bad. Hey, come over here so I can talk to you. I demand to see Edgar! How dare they keep us in this stinking pit. In this stinking pit, rather. Relax, my boys are just blowing off some steam. I'm sure King Edgar will let us out of here in no time. We're just small potatoes compared to the real threat lurking out there. King Edgar knows that. Hey, hey werewolf. Come here. Werewolf. Come down. The werewolf doesn't want to talk to me. Yes, yet, yeah, no, no, yes, yet, yeah, no, no, yeah. Little. I'm Lone Wolf the Pit. You. You will li return to a special place in hell, Lone Wolf. Actually, I wonder, because this game actually has a surprising number of references to Final Fantasy V. Like, subtle things, but they're... But they all sort of add up, so... It really makes me wonder if this and Final Fantasy V are supposed to take place in the same world. I would have to assume not, because that's not really how Final Fantasy does things, but... There's just enough there to make you wonder, you know? Now then... I suppose we'll talk to this guy again. Well, how do you like my castle? What? King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire to see you, sire! Kefka? Not him again. Actually, seriously though, I'm not sure if my throat can do Kefka right now. I guess we'll find out! Wait, Emperor Gestal's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead! Why do you have to live in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. Hem, <laughs> and there's sand in my boots. All gone, sir. How pathetic. Sir Kefka? What in the world brings you out of my way? Wait, oh, I'm in control of Edgar now. The Machinist. Uh, good enough, I guess. Yeah, good enough. Oh, wow, look at all these stuff that we don't recognize. How interesting. Well, actually, you probably should recognize this one, but I digress. Let's go talk to Kefka as King Edgar. Uh... You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance? What's with this m with this miserable little sandpit? Don't make me laugh! I hear you've been busy down south, taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? 
That's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestalt's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? A girl of no importance has recently escaped us. We heard she found a refugee here! This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? LIES! She merely stole something of minor value! Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar. You know... You only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. I truly hope nothing happens to our precious Pharaoh! Oh, okay, we're back in control. Well then. Hey, it's Locke! I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to my, her room. I'd love to stay and chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king is not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. So, voice acting wise, I basically gave Kafka one of my harder to do ones right off the bat, because he just has like so many ranges, and he ba he's basically two voices in one. There's Zany Kefka, and then there's, oh no, he's about to kill someone Kefka. Uh, and later in the game, there's going to be a third voice, probably, and it's just, there's a lot to keep track of, so it's really hard to keep it all straight in my mind, let alone in my throat, which hardly ever actually does what I want it to. <laughs> But, you know, you know, I think it works out. Oh, this is our bedroom. I knew this room was important for something, just apparently not what I thought. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this about giving you a chance to rest. I'm locked, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? When did he tell us about Locke? I'm a treasure hunter! And not an adventure, incidentally. Completely different. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you men in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire, but I'm an Imperial soldier! Not anymore. They were using you, that's all. Things are very different now. It's just, I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You'll know what to do when the time comes. Hey, Locke. The king's supposed to be the flirt, not you. Um... But how will I know which choice is right? How indeed. Hmm.
this ominous music. Something bad must be about to happen. What in the... Correction. Something bad must have already happened. That's no good. What's going on? It's the Empire! Kafka! He... What do you think you're doing?! Bring me that girl now! I have no idea what you're talking about! Oh, then enjoy the barbecue! <laughs> well then. Get her ready! Yes, sire! Had a change of heart! It seems I have no choice. Haha! <laughs> Making this Making a heroic escape. The king flees his castle. And leaves everyone else behind. Um what you doing, Edgar? Oh my! The brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin! How utterly delightful! <laughs> Jump! Alright, sink her into the sand! How, how are we doing what now? Yahoo! Oh, what is happening? Um, Figaro dive mode engaged. So, 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 witness the glory of Figaro! Yep. Yep. That just happened. Best castle ever. That there that's simply all there is to be said on the matter. Best castle ever. Go! Kill him! And now, we make our heroic escape. In a back attack, actually. I just noticed. That's a little bit inconvenient. Um. Okay. 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 Uh, here's the thing. These guys don't have anything worthwhile to steal from, so just kill them quickly. Uh, by w which we'll do with... I really wish I had that Mithril Knife. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, because we have Edgar, who has tools! And, let me just tell you... Oh, maybe he's gonna tell me for you. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? Oh, it's because he used magic. Did, 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 did you just see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, this kid's really something, eh? Really something? That was magic! Ma Chick! MG I see. M -m -m magic She used magic? 
Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Terra! Your name was Terra, right? What? What exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... No, we should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. By the way, this right here is one of the reasons this game is so great, I, I think. It's something that they did a little bit before now, but they didn't do it- they did hardly at all after this. Intricate, like, detailed, in-battle- basically it's an in-battle cutscene before cutscenes were a thing. But it's completely integrated into the gameplay, mostly. And you can see they're, like, moving around and everything. Although they are kind of ignoring the enemies, um... Even so... I mean, we've never actually seen magic before, where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Terra can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is... Her magic could really help us right now. Thank you- Heh! <laughs> Talking! Bro! Thank you, Locke! Thank you, Edgar! So yeah, I think I mentioned this last episode, actually, but I thought you did this with just Locke, I didn't know you needed Edgar for it. I think this only- this cutscene will only happen if you do use magic in this battle, though. Which means you can miss this cutscene. Uh, anyway, as I was getting at before, auto crossbow. Yeah, Edgar is kind of overpowered. He he's pretty good. He's pretty good. And fire. Or at least for, well, he's pretty good for most of the game, actually, I think. But, he has a few, like, high points where he's really good and a few lower points. But, in the first half of the game, I'd say, he's consistently one of the mo more powerful party members you'll get. And hey, we got high potions. Bravo, Figaro! Really? Really? So speaking of mute, uh, butchered one-liners, the correct line is, Ahem, SON OF A SUBMARINER, YOU'LL PAY FOR THIS! That was great! Were those pe bad people? I I'm scared. Terra, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic. That Esper reacts to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born of the powers you have! Why'd you go say that, dude? Forgive me. What? what should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Banon. He may be able to help you find out more about why they have why you have them at eh, talking. Ah. Please, Egar's right. 
there's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. And on that note, we are way over time, so I'm gonna call it here. Uh, until next time, when we go head for the Figaro Cave, or whatever the hell it's called. This has been Chaos Blue, let's play Final Fantasy VI! And have a great day. Bye!